Last week we asked you guys to help us planning the bathroom for our new master suite and we got a huge amount of proposals so thank you very much and I'm going to show you the, the best ones later on in this video. But one thing is sure, whatever solution we choose, we have to get rid of all these pipes first and unfortunately also of all the pipes that I placed for our first version of this bathroom. And originally to remove these pipes and similar things, I always used the angle grinder, which produces a lot of dust and sparks and feels dangerous and is dangerous. And then one day our plumber suggested to use um, a saw instead, a metal saw. And that's so much easier. But still being this world famous influencer and a role model for literally millions of young men and women out there, I have a huge responsibility. And that's why I have to show you that when you do this kind of work, so you need to protect your eyes. And that's, that's what I use. I try to make as few cuts as, few as possible. Yeah. Doesn't even need to be cut. How's that possible? Anna, can you bring me a bucket? It's really embarrassing. Um, I'm okay, but uh -oh. th there was water in the pipe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Oh. oh, that's it. Okay, so. So it was just residual, residual water. Oh, okay. I was really scared because I have a history in cutting live pipes. I'm not going to go into details, but there was a gas pipe once and we didn't know it was still gas in the pipe and connected to a gas system. It's a gas storage thing outside. Basically, you almost blew up the shutter. I did almost blow up the shutter, yeah. And luckily, uh, Benoit was here. But to be fair, in your defense, it was a tiny cable that looked like a wire, like an electric cable. Yeah. So. Anyway, so I was a bit scared for a second, but then, yeah. <laughs> it still sounds that there's water, but... You can't imagine how often I was looking at these pipes and imagining to take them off. And now finally it happens. Also, it's really unpleasant with these glasses. I don't think they're necessary. A new tool, a uh, crowbar, very useful, even though I prefer the whiskey bar. In order to get these pipes out now, I need to go in the other room there and cut them. So I can just pull them out. It's still a bit messy in here because this is mostly under stuff. Just saying. But yeah, if I can bend them instead of cutting, I can just pull. Here, I want to show you something. On these pipes, you have these old, beautiful um, radiator valves. I like to keep these. So I'm not going to throw this away. I'm trying to undo this and use it for something else in the future. Who knows? Just a few minutes ago, I was wondering in which year they put these um, pipes in place. And now I took them out and I saw there's some newspaper paper which, um, well, will tell us, at least when some of these have been put in, we can find a date on that newspaper. I see. Londres. Mode de la Grande Bretagne. Fashion of Great Britain. I think it looks like 60s or something. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, hey. Can you see the date? 1962. 1962, that's cool. So we know that these pipes have been in this room for about 60 years. And now they have to go.
Uh -huh. If I pick the kids up, do you mind taking down a couple of pipes? Yeah, really, they say they want me to pick them up today. All right. Anna, I can't find you. Where are you? I need to pick the kids up. What? You picked them up. I said I picked them up. You forgot. All right. No, 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 no problem. I feel like I just carried half a ton of iron and lead down the stairs. I'm very glad that nowadays we have copper pipes and even PVC plastic type pipes. What a progress. Now with all the pipes out of the way, I can finally try to take off the liner floor and see what we have underneath. That's a very unpleasant job. I think Anna would be good at that. I am done now, oh, but it was so much work. It was probably one of the most annoying things I had to do in the last four years. And look at my hand. I got, I got blisters all over, like right in the middle of my palm. Looks a little bit like stigmata, you know what I mean? It's probably just a coincidence, but who knows? Maybe, maybe Jesus wants to tell me something, like an encouragement. Well done, brother. I, I know your pain. I know what you're going through. And I would say, thank you. I appreciate your sympathy. And by the way, if you, if you could subscribe to our channel, that, that would be amazing. It would mean a lot to us. But most likely just a coincidence. Yeah, what's the next step? I think it's finding out what the layout is. And then I can decide how clean does it need to be? Can we save it, which I would like to, because I find it really nice having a wooden floor in a bathroom. Wow. <laughs> you made some good progress. I did, but there's so much still to do. Oh my goodness. Wow, you said it was really hard now to get this off. But Maybe we can heat it or something and try and scrape it. Yeah. Wow, it's looking great. Making progress. So should we have a look at all the plans? Yes. That, so we've got a lot of plans. We were very impressed. We had some amazing stuff. Um, we've got obviously some very talented viewers and we wanted to go through a few of our favorites. And if we're not showing yours, it's not because we didn't like it, but probably because we received a few which were very similar. This is a plan from Victor from VP Design Group. And you can tell he's a professional. Look how nice the plan is done. He's moving a wall here to make a shower. So brilliant idea because it gives more space to the, to the bathroom. However, I think 
moving this wall would be quite a lot of work. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I like the idea, but I'm not sure that I'm a big fan of having the bath in front of the shower. It's a lot of moving walls and, and I'm not sure if I'm willing to move uh, that many walls. Mm -hmm. But thank you very much, Victor, from, um, for this design. It's, it's very interesting. This plan is from Rachel. And many people suggested similar or even identical uh, layouts for the bathroom. And she puts the toilet inside, it's a separated toilet, but with a door inside here. So access to the toilet from in here. Mm -hmm. It's one sink on one side, another sink on this wall. So one sink here, one sink yeah. here, and the bath in front of the windows. Now, now this is a really nice rendering from Daisy Davila. And I really love it because this is how we planned it also with the sinks here on this side, yeah. the bath here. That is beautiful. And I really love the wooden um, cabinet for the sinks. And the door here, a door for the toilet. So this one is from Astrid Everhardy Blocher from a company called ebadplanung.de. Astrid suggests to keep only this door. And that's now a big decision we have to make. Do we want to keep these both doors or do we do like Astrid suggests to keep one door here and look here, um, put the bath here, a big shower here, and the sink here. I think it looks really nice and generous. And you lose the two, obviously, the two doors that go onto the bedroom and onto the yes. dressing room. Yes. When I saw these renderings, I was really convinced and I thought this is the right solution because we get so much space. But then came Calvin from K Architects, and he not only sent us renderings, but even like an animated video, and you have to watch this. Yeah, we were pretty impressed, weren't we? <laughs> Very impressed. You go down this corridor, you enter here. I like the paneling detail there. Oh yeah, beautiful, we have to put paneling here. Go into the bedroom. Look at this bedroom. Wow. Now, what made me change my mind is to see how it will look when this, when this door is open. It makes, also, it makes the, this bathroom much lighter because this bedroom is south-facing and we get a lot of sunshine on this side. So even though this is probably the most work intensive version because we have to reopen my door, close this door, do a lot of work with the pipes, but just the, the light that this will give us. And I also the flow. And the flow, it will, I think that's it's worth all the, all the trouble. I, I don't know how long it takes to make a rendering like that. It looks like a lot of work. It's incredible, isn't it? So here you have the bath with a nice view. I love the, the fact sink. that you have these big wind, uh, mirrors here. Yeah, that's brilliant for bringing in light as well. Nice. Really opens it up. He made a double shower here. Mm -hmm. And so there's not much space for the toilet. So what he did, he opened up the room behind here to, to have the toilet sticking into the, the dressing room. That would involve a lot of moving the walls, a bit more than I would <laughs> like. Also because it would mean that we have to get rid of the cupboards in, in our dressing room. So. And the fireplace. And the fireplace. But fantastic, looks fantastic. Yeah. So the question is, are we going to keep this door or are we going to keep these two doors? Big question. That is the question. And it'd be interesting again to hear everybody's feedback because it's, mm. it's, being, it's helping us a little bit, isn't it? We're to... just brutally taking advantage of our viewers and ask every question, we just make a poll. Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> it's really good. So we thought we would be finished with the planning of the bathroom this week, but now thanks to our audience, we are more confused than ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think my gut instinct at the moment is keeping these two doors open. I just really love that flow from the bedroom into the bathroom and then into the, into the dressing room. It just makes a nice feeling. I don't know if it's a feng shui thing. I'm not into that, but I'm imagining it could be the fact of maybe having a view that can go from both sides. I think that could make it feel really beautiful and really open. So hopefully by next week, we will have an answer and a plan and you will be able to start figuring out how to sort out all of this mess of pipes. Mm -hmm.